Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in previous video, we simulate uh, a multi-component hydrocarbon distillation system in shortcut distillation column to obtain or estimate the initial values of minimum reflux ratio, minimum number of stages, actual number of stages and feed stage location. In this tutorial, we are going to use the results of shortcut distillation that we have here we will use these results to perform rigorous distillation uh, for the multi-component uh, hydrocarbon system so for that let's move to the aspen hysis so this one is the shortcut distillation column that we simulated in previous uh, video the link of the previous video is in description just uh, go through the first one that video because it will helpful otherwise it will not be easy for you to understand what's going on here so the to start we are just going to uh, copy and paste uh, the feed okay after that just we have to introduce a distillation column for uh, to perform rigorous calculation and performance analysis so i just uh, select a distillation column and uh, drop it into the uh, simulation canvas so double click on distillation column then this new video will open so the condenser energy i will say condense q uh, I think I put this name already, so I will say condense CQ and for reboiler RQ and for uh, feed uh, it's the feed 2 and uh, it's the total condenser. We simulated shortcut distillation to have a result for total condenser, not the partial one and the overhead product is uh, distilled i think this one is already present i will say distillate and the bottom one is okay now uh, go to the uh, results of shortcut distillation here we have uh, the actual number of stages are 22 and feed stage location is 11 so let's define this one so number of stages are 22 and feed stage is 11 okay and uh, the stage numbering is from top to bottom that is okay so this page is uh, the first page is specified go to the next page and here we we are going to uh, with the regular high seas reboiler and in the next uh, tab it it is ask it is it says that the condenser pressure drop and condenser pressure and reboiler pressure okay so for that uh, if we go to this uh, problem statement we have a top pressure 3.6 and bottom pressure 3.7 okay so so let's specify this one 3.6 and the reboiler 3.7 okay then press next it says the estimate temperature so if you have the temperature values then it's okay but if you don't have you can skip this one and go to the next and uh, here we have uh, estimated value from shortcut distillation okay so the top temperature 55.71 so uh, 55.71 and uh, the reboiler uh, temperature estimate is uh, 132.3 132.3 okay so I just have to put this one here okay then press next 
and it says reflux ratio and liquid uh, rate so we have here reflux ratio that is uh, external reflux ratio is 0 0.916 okay 0 0.916 and then done okay so after that when you put all the specification this uh, wizard will open for uh, distillation column so the here we do not have to change anything and uh, go to the monitor tab and here the degree of freedom is zero but here if you see we have uh, reflux ratio distillate rate reflux rate and bottom product rate so we have to specify at least one of uh, the uh, one of the uh, parameters from uh, from this one and uh, for that if we go uh, sorry For example if we click on distillate and we have here molar flow rate that is 1378 okay so I will insert distillate rate 1378 okay so uh, if I run the simulation So it is converged the problem is solved so let's see the performance of this distillation column so you can see the temperature profile pressure profile and flow profile here okay but uh, for performance go to the performance tab okay column profiles so you have the uh, temperature and pressure on each uh, uh on each stage of distillation uh with the net liquid and vapor flow rates on passing through that uh, plate and uh, the uh, uh, feed flow rate and uh, the bottom and top flow rates those are given here okay so go to the uh, the plots and uh, just go to the composition and check the graph okay so you can see that uh, uh, at the top that is this one the uh, composition of uh, light key component that is here the isopentane is maximum and the heavy key component that is n-hexane is 0 0.01 okay so across the column the compositions of um, uh, light key component is decreasing and heavy key component is increasing until the bottom of the column so the maximum here uh, is the heavy key component and the minimum is the light key component if you click on the properties here uh, we can also introduce the one that is not being shown here the n heptane so n heptane because it's a heavy key component and it's also been concentrated in the down of the column okay so just uh, close this one and also close this one and go to the worksheet okay and here you have uh, the overall uh, 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 overall look of the distillation uh, column performance what are the inlets and what are the overhead or the distillate composition and temperature pressure similarly for the bottoms and if we go to the compositions so here in distillate the heavy key component is 0 0.016 and in bottom the light key component is 0 0.0171 but if we want to be more specific uh, like it should be like 0 0.01 not the other digits we can do this how we can uh, do this if we go to the design okay 
here we specify the reflux rate o and distillate rate okay so what i will do i will add a spec and here column component fraction add spec okay and uh, we want uh, the specification for the overhead stream that's why i select stream and the uh, stream is distillation at, and in the mole fraction and uh, the spec value it's we are going to given it 0 0.01 okay and the component so the n hexane it's the heavy key component okay so we just specify that one and then close this one and uh, uncheck the reflux ratio from here so you can see the degree of freedom change to one so we are going to activate the component fraction okay and degree of freedom is already zero and uh, just click run okay and then go back to the worksheet and in compositions you can see that in distillate you have exactly the uh, the specific amount of n hexane that you specify but if you go back in design you can see the uh, the flux uh, sorry the reflux ratio has been changed okay if we we introduce initially 0 0.91 but to achieve this particular component mole fraction in in a uh, distillation column not in shortcut distillation but in a distillation column it is 0 0.99 so the flux is changed okay so this is the uh, way you can uh, check the performance of your distillation column you can see the temperature profile pressure profile and flow profiles across the distillation column another thing that i want to share here is the tray efficiency okay for that go to the parameters and then go to the efficiencies so you can see that here the 100 percent efficiency is being selected by default but in actually the uh, the tray columns uh, operates between 70 to 80 percent efficiency so how we can specify the efficiency of uh, each tray you can just to specify the number for example i am taking 0 0.8 okay and uh, the main tower so i just specify this one so the the first stage of the tower has the efficiency of 0 0.8 and if you want to change all you just have to select uh, all the uh, plates or stages and then just simply specify it will change from 1 to 0 0.8 and the changing the uh, efficiency uh, will definitely change uh, the performance of overall distillation uh, uh, distillation of the system particularly in a uh, boil up ratios okay so here is the uh, total performance the pressure temperature and net liquid and act uh, vapor flow rates uh, passing through each stage on the distillation column okay so uh, this is the uh, way to sorry okay so now this is the final reflux ratio after changing uh, uh, the tray efficiency initially it was 0 0.91 when we decrease the efficiency obviously we will have to increase the reflux ratio as well as the boil up ratio so this is the way how you can uh, simulate uh, a distillation column for which you do not have much information the first step you have to perform shortcut distillation and then you will have the estimated uh, parameters to go for the rigorous distillation column i hope you understand this tutorial and like it uh, until next video bye bye stay tuned